about our role model for our subject, the professional English. Yeah. For the first question, yeah, what is your background in that? Oh uh, yes, uh, my name is Nina Nadira. I'm 25 years old this year. I am from Shalom, Pichilatong. I just finished my Bachelor in Creative Arts Drama uh, in Deakin University, Melbourne. Um, currently, I am working in the art industry in Malaysia. So I hosted. I was in H Lab before this. I was in a couple of drama series, Malaysian drama series. I was, I sing as well. I was in a reality show called Academy Hatas Sydney Party. So currently, I'm working in the art industry. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you tell me um, if you have a free time? Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing? What are you going to do? My free time. Um, not working, right? So basically, what I have to do is to go out with my friends. Uh, my favorite thing would be karaoke. That's one of my favorite things that I love to do during my free time. I love to go out and watch uh, theatre. Um, and because uh, I have, I was a theatre student back then, so I really love uh, watching theatres and also performances. Like um, I love to hear jazz music. So sometimes I go out and just listen to some jazz. Okay. Yes. Okay, um, for the next question, uh, since you are from Academy Fantasia, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, are you still singing? <laughs> um, yes, I am still singing and I'll be singing. I mean, like, I love to sing. Singing is, a, is something that I'm very passionate about. So I sing at home, I sing, you know, everywhere. So basically, in terms of career, um, my recent song, single, was last year, 2016, called Istana. It was written by it was written and composed by Ezra Kong and Omar Ki. Um, but at the moment, um, I'm focusing more on my acting and hosting. But yeah, yeah. One day I will start and focus back into my singing. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, in your uh, in your own words, can you define what is a music? Music. What I can define about music for myself, I guess, uh, what music makes me, it makes me, it's like a therapy for me, I guess, for everyone, basically. If you're not in a good mood, you're angry, or you're sad, or you're happy, you always need music, right? So basically, music helps us, you know, to calm ourselves, you know, makes, make us happy, understand us in a way, like, if you listen to some music and the lyrics, you know, it's, you know, it, it's something that's uh, related to whatever that you're feeling. So I guess um, music is makes you happy. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay um, so my last question is um, between acting and singing, uh, which one do you prefer and why? Okay. Um, I've always loved singing since I was little. I singing is something you know that it's a hobby for me. I guess. Um, acting is also something I, I love, it's something that I'm passionate about. So if you ask me like which one do I prefer, it's like a different thing I guess, but different angle, but you know, acting um, acting too makes me happy. Yeah, also. Yeah. Very passionate about you know, the art of acting and also with the help of music. So, yeah. Okay, uh, thank you Nina for your time. Uh, there will be a second interview. Uh, to interview you about your career. Alright, thank you. Okay guys, uh, now we are back with Nina. Okay, my name is Nina. Hi. Hi. Okay. My name is Nick. I'm the second interview, uh, interviewer. Okay, um, uh, the first question that I want to ask you mm -hmm. is uh, why you choose to sing and acting mm -hmm. instead of you, you uh, participate in cooking or sport? Okay. Um, I guess I've always loved um, acting and singing since I was young. Singing in particular since I was like five. I loved singing back then. Um, I guess because um, I have a family background that sings as well. Um, my aunt, my mom sings and I guess we're, my family, we're, we're very used to, we really, really, we really love music. So I guess we have that since, you know, ever since I was little, so we, we grew up 
grew up with music. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, okay. The second is uh, when did you realize that you can sing? Music? Or or maybe you just uh, just realize that you just uh, know how to sing or how to sing. Okay. Um. I love singing. I, I I mean I didn't know that I could sing like to be a singer basically. Um, I didn't know that you know when when I went to Academy like, Fantasy, I didn't know that you know I got in and I got into the top twelve. So it was something new. I mean something that you know I never would never expect. I guess. Um, but yeah, um, I guess if you if you keep on doing something that you love, it will. It's it's always. Um, it's always easy for you, and unless you're doing something that you don't love. I mean, if you love, you're always focused. You're always, you know, you'll never get bored of doing it because you love that thing. You know? Okay, let me tell. Uh, let me tell you that when you were when we on AF, yeah. I vote for you. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I pay back. How much you put? Okay. I pay back the fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let the bank in. Okay. Okay. Oh, you bet with the fashion. Okay. Yeah, the third question is, um, right now, are you actively in, uh, produce any songs or are you just busy with your acting? Um, currently, um, because last year I went back to um, I, went, I went back to Australia, um, to yeah. Melbourne, to Melbourne, oh. um, <laughs> Melbourne, uh, for to, to, yeah, for to finish my my degree in acting. Yeah. But so I stopped for a while for like half a year in the industry, and then I'm back. Again this year to continue to continue back in the industry, but so far um, the offers that I got is mostly um, acting and hosting. So for now, I guess I I want to focus more on my acting and hosting. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, since you are an uh, I can say that you are actress already. Mm -hmm. How many drama or film that you have been cast for? I haven't been in a film. I I've, I've, I've got an offer film, but it was last year when okay. I went to university, but I couldn't. So oh. for now, I've been in I've been in um, one made the series, Sisters Bariyama, um, History of Sisterna, and I've got Peter Arley. So and yeah, that I have. I've it's been quite a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only four. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully more to come. Enjoy. Okay. Okay, the last question from me is um, when your first role as an actor? Mm -hmm. What was your first uh, role? When? When? When means um, two years ago or? Oh, um, mid series would be 2015. 15. Yes, 2015. Two, two, two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Okay. Thank you now for having time oh. with me. Oh, so cool. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if you used to be okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, don't worry, we have a uh, third interview after this. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're back. I'm the third interviewer. Hi. So, hi, my name is Lin. Okay, Lin. And my part was to ask you about... Okay, you have been in a lot of okay, like before drama that you said before. Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind based on that four, what kind of roles that you prefer that you like the most? So the four dramas dramas that I've acted before was I mean the most uh, the the character that I liked the most would be the one in Akhatin Therapy that was last year, 2016. I was the 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 evil the bad girl, the I, I watched that. Oh really? I oh, okay. So I was really bad, right? I was really yeah. mean. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> okay, so tell me, uh, about the time when you uh, had difficulty in the character or the roles that you were given, uh, which characters that you feel it was the most challenging and why? Um, yes, I think yeah, the, 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 the character Zalia in Akaku and Dari was one of the chal uh, challenging characters that I've, you know, I've acted because um, it, I have to be like for the first time. I have to be mean. I have to be really bad. Like I have to make people hate me. So it's a it's a huge challenge to actually be you know provoke people. You know to have that that look and to make sure that people hate you so that you know it works. So because if you're doing bad, like people still love you, then it, you know it's not. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. So you know you have to make it feel alive. Yes. It's really yes. 
Okay, can you share some experience as a person in the entertainment industry? What is your work experience? Some of it. What kind of experience? Memorable or some things that you can't forget until now? Um, like, I think good. Yes. I guess, I mean, being in the industry, it's really important to myself to always to be true to yourself that whatever who you are, who you were before that like five years ago, you still have to be the same person. Because what I see nowadays, um, there's a lot of people, you know, if you, 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 you become an actor, suddenly you become someone else. So I think it's really important to always be true to yourself and believe believe in yourself. You stay, right? Focus on what you love, your passion, and you always, you know, you will stay like that forever. So, what you mean is to be true to yourself? Yes. Okay, so what attitude that we need to be in a good entertainer? So, I mean, what I mean is, do you have to be in public, you are this person, or at the back, you are this person? Um, some people say, you know, it's like you're trying to be fake and stuff, but sometimes, in terms of you have to behave, I guess, because, I mean, me, when, when, when I'm with my friends, with the, when I'm in with my family and this person, you know, this crazy person. But when I'm up there, of course, I have to behave myself, you know. I cannot show everything, but in a way, in a good way. So, be professional, I guess. Um, be professional. If you if you respect people, people will always respect you back. Okay, the last question for me is, how did the entertainment industry affect in our society, from your opinion? In terms of the the people in the industry or the people outside the industry, um, maybe both. You can. Um, can you repeat the question? Uh, entertainment industry affect our society. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Let me. I, I guess what I can see is sometimes people are too. You know, whatever. You know, we are actors. We are, we act in in a drama, for example. But sometimes people t kind of take it seriously. Like when I was in Kemi Fantasia, I was this girl and like, people, you know, maybe this girl who's, who studied in Melbourne and stuff, so people started hating, hated, you know, they hated me back then. So I guess they were too much, um, they were too into it. So sometimes it's not a good thing. You, I mean, it's good that you support and stuff, but sometimes, you know, you know, you know about the keyboard warriors and stuff. Yeah. So I guess in terms of that, it's not healthy because, um, you don't filter what you say, you just, I mean, you just type in whatever you feel mm -hmm. like you hate and stuff, and just put it on internet and stuff. So I guess it's not a healthy thing for people to, you know, keep on, keep on doing, doing that, that, you know, like talking bad about things, you know, or about, about someone you don't like, or, you know, just basically just simply just post things, you know? Okay, next, uh, that's the bad side. So, mm -hmm. in your opinion, what is the good side of this industry to our society? Um, the good side, I guess, um, in terms of the industry, I guess its strength is growing and growing. It's getting bigger and bigger compared to last time. Um, there are certain rules that we need to follow nowadays compared to last time. It's more strict, um, restricted in terms of what they do, what, how they act and stuff. Um, I guess um, depending on drama or any type of programs, that it, if it gives you a good result, a good um, out outcome, I guess it will be better. If it's not a good outcome, then it's going to be worse. It's, I guess it's like a depend on the situation, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's really depend on the situation. It can be good, yeah, it can be good or, or it can be bad at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're going to be continue. We yep. need to end the Yeah. Uh, my friend will continue. Okay, we're back again. <coughs> hi, Nina. Uh, hi. hi. Uh, my name is Mohamed Shafi. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a VCA student from MSU. Uh, there's some uh, few questions that I would like to ask. Uh, my first question is, what do you consider the important elements in, in, in entertainment industry? I guess um, the important elements in the, in the entertainment industry would be, it's always good to have a quality program. Um, it's always uh, you have to have a good team, good, good planning. You have to have, you know, you don't have. It's it's one thing that I realize about it. Entertainment industry, they like to do it last minute. So last minute will you know give this you know not a good outcome. So I guess 
good planning, good brainstorm, brainstorming, and you know, quality is very very important. Okay, my next question is, uh, what is your future dreams? Okay, my future dreams. <laughs> my future dreams. I have a lot of future dreams. I would love to do in the future, inshallah, if I have the opportunity. Um, to my singing, um, I love jazz. So I plan on you know having my own showcase with my own jazz music, you know, to sing jazz with my jazz listeners and fans probably. Um, I would like to, in terms of my acting, I would like to go higher, you know, to take more uh, important roles and you know challenging roles. Um, and also, I love I would love to produce one day to be a producer and have my own program. Fun. And like also a production house for um, you know teaching theaters and stuff. So I guess that's a lot of dreams I would like to do in the future. Okay. Um. For now, is that entertaining? Mm -hmm. How do you handle your stress? Oh, how do I handle my stress? Um. I guess it's always to you know keep you know, sit down and just think or probably just listen to me some music or probably you know you can smile and sing. So that's one of the ways um, to distract myself, to avoid from having stress and not overthinking. So yeah. It's important that if it, if you're if you're not well if you're really stressed and not things that you're thinking, try to distract yourself for this. Yes. So it's in like try to entertain yourself. Yeah. Go out, you know? Yeah. Um, so the next question is, how do you handle conflict in industry? Um, how do I handle conflicts? By not, you know, at the start, at the beginning, you have to know your limit, your point. Like, um, for myself, I guess I don't, I don't make, make myself too close with everyone. I have to have a limit with everyone. Be professional when you're working because when you work, it's work. It's not like, you know, they 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 can be your friend, but they can be your enemy too as well. So always have a limit every time. Okay. Uh, so this is my last question. Mm -hmm. What were some challenges that you had faced and how you overcome it? The challenges that I have faced would be, you know, people there, there was people in the industry they will always have someone who, you know, might be jealous of you and try to put you down. So what you do is just to prove yourself. Um, be good with everyone. It's very important to always be good with everyone, so that you know, in the future, you know, those people that you've helped, they they will come to us. You know, what what if we need their help in the future? So, it's important to be nice to everyone. Yeah. So that's all for me, and thank you for your time, okay. and I hope you be a successful, successfully a uh, a good entertainer. Inshallah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. or tips for you outside there to be an entertainer. So first of all, I guess to always be true to yourself. Um, always know your limits. I mean, of course, it's always fun to play in the entertainment industry, but um, you know, you know, people are watching you. So you will, you must always um, make sure that you know you behave well in front of in front of you know the public and stuff, so that you know everything will be good. Um, be humble. Uh, be nice to everyone, including like everyone, from, like the crews or everyone who help in the production. So it's very important because based on my experience, I mean, because I was good with them and I got offered from them. All the offers that I got was was always from the from them because they would want me to be in the for any program that they're in. Um, I guess to always fo focus on your work quality. Um, you know, don't do it just for fun, just for the fame, but instead do it do it properly, um, focus and you know, you don't give up. There are, there are times where you will always face this, you know, stress or people you know, people hate you and people try to put you down. But um, uh, always believe in yourself, make sure that you're doing the right thing and don't listen to people. Sometimes they might not tell you that the, 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 they might not help you but instead they're you know they're trying to put you down um, and yeah be strong and I guess if you you know if you're if you're okay if you're a strong person it's gonna be a fun thing to do I guess
Thank you for having me. Um, I hope I help you and everyone who's watching. Um, and I hope that you guys, I have, or who, I hope that I help you guys, you know, in the future and go with your passion or anything that you love. Inshallah.